In this lecture, I am going to cover the specific type of division problems. Division problems when divisor is closer and greater than power of 10. And divisor must start with 1. I will use the concept Parvartya Yojayet. Parvartya Yojayet is a Sanskrit word which means transpose and apply. To transpose the number, just change the sign of a number from positive to negative and vice versa. Let's take our first example. Suppose I want to divide 6534 by 123. Here 123 starts with 1 and it's a closer and greater than power of 10. So I can use Parvartya Yojayet concept here. As a first step, I split 6534 into quotient and remainder. But please note that here the remainder will have one less number of digit than that of divisor. Here divisor has three digits so remainder will have only two digits. So I will split 6534 into 65 and 34. As a second step I apply the concept of transpose and apply. I discard the first digit 1 out of divisor and take transpose of remaining digits and I will get the final divisor which will be 2 bar and 3 bar. So now onwards my divisor will be 2 bar and 3 bar. Now onwards I will follow the same steps that I have performed in Nikhilam formula. To get the answer I put 6 as it is. 6 multiplied with individual digits 2 bar and 3 bar will give me 12 bar and 18 bar. I add all the digits of second column and it gives me 7 bar. Again 7 bar multiplied with individual digits 2 bar and 3 bar and it gives me 40 and 21. Add all the digits of third column and it gives me 1 bar and it gives me 25. Out of this 25 I consider 2 as a carry and it will be added to 1 bar so final remainder will be 15. Here I am getting the win column number in final answer. To overcome this situation I convert this win column number to a normal number so 67 bar will be converted to 53 and I get the final remainder as 15. So the final answer will be 53 as quotient and 15 as the remainder. Let's take one more example. Suppose I want to divide 1356 by 182. This divisor starts with 1 and it is closer and greater than power of 10. As a first step, I will split 1356 into quotient and remainder. Here the divisor has 3 digits so remainder will have only 2 digits. So 1356 will be converted to 13 and 56. As a next step I will apply the concept of transpose and apply. I will discard the first digit of 182 and take transpose of remaining digits so it will be 8 bar and 2 bar. So now onwards my divisor will be 8 bar and 2 bar. Now I will follow the same step that I have performed in Nikhilam formula. I will put first digit 1 as it is. 1 multiplied with individual digits of 8 bar 2 bar will give me 8 bar and 2 bar. Now I add all the digits of second column and it gives me 5 bar. This 5 bar multiplied with individual digits of 8 bar and 2 bar and it gives me 14 and 10. To get the remainder, add all the digits of third column and it gives me 43. Add all the digits of last column and it gives me 16. Out of this 16, I consider 1 as carry. So the final remainder will be 446. In the final answer, I am getting the win column number. So I will convert 15 bar into a normal number and it will be 05. And final remainder will be 446. One more thing here 
I am getting reminder that is greater than divisor and reminder cannot be greater than or equal to divisor. So I will divide 446 by 182. So I will get the quotient as 2 and remainder as 82. This new quotient will be added to the old quotient. So the final quotient will be 7 and the final remainder will be 82. So the answer is 7 is the quotient and remainder is the 82. One more example. Suppose I want to divide 13456 by 1123. As a first step, I will split 13456 into quotient and remainder. I apply the concept of transpose and apply. I discard the first digit of divisor and take the transpose of remaining digits. So it will be 1 bar, 2 bar and 3 bar. So now onwards my divisor will be 1 bar, 2 bar, 3 bar. Now I follow the same steps that I have performed in Nikhilam formula. I put the first digit 1 as it is. 1 multiplied with individual digits of 1 bar, 2 bar and 3 bar will give me 1 bar, 2 bar and 3 bar. Now add all the digits of second column and it gives me 2. 2 multiplied with individual digits of 1 bar, 2 bar, 3 bar will give me 2 bar, 4 bar and 6 bar. Now I am getting the digit in the last column so I stop here. To get the reminder I add all the digits of third last column and it gives me 0. I add all the digits of second last column and it gives me 2 bar. I add all the digits of last column and it gives me 0. One more thing here is I am getting the negative quantity in the remainder part. To overcome this situation, I take over 1 from quotient part. So ultimately 1, 1, 2, 3 will be carried over to the remainder part. So the final quotient will be 12 minus 1 is equal to 11 and the final remainder will be 1, 1, 2, 3 minus 20 and it will be 1, 1, 0, 3. Final answer quotient 11 and remainder is 1103. Please note that negative quantity is not possible in remainder part. To overcome this situation, I will have to take 1 over from the quotient part. Okay, let's take one more example. Suppose I want to divide 239479 by 11213. This is 5 digit example of division. As a first step, I will split 239479 into quotient and remainder and it will be 23 and 9479. As a second step, I will apply the concept of transpose and apply. I discard the first digit of divisor and take transpose of remaining digit and it will be 1 bar, 2 bar, 1 bar and 3 bar. Now onwards my divisor will be 1 bar, 2 bar, 1 bar and 3 bar. To get the answer, I put first digit 2 as it is. 2 multiplied with individual digits of 1 bar, 2 bar, 1 bar and 3 bar will give me 2 bar, 4 bar, 2 bar and 6 bar. Now add all the digits of second column and it gives me 1. 1 multiplied with individual digits of 1 bar, 2 bar, 1 bar and 3 bar and it gives me 1 bar, 2 bar, 1 bar and 3 bar. Now I get the digit in the last column so I stop here. To get the remainder add all the digits of third column and it gives me 4. Next is 0, next is 0, the last one is 6. So answer will be quotient is 21 and remainder is 4006.